Hi everyone, welcome back. Someone wrote in and wanted to know if I had ever refused to do a reading. Um, I have never refused to do a reading. I remember one time I had a couple come with their adult son. The adult son had lost his wife and uh, the mother was very overbearing and um, she didn't want to leave the room. I wanted privacy with the son so I could talk to him alone and uh, try to connect with, you know, his loved one in spirit. And uh, the mother of just was very overbearing and started telling me information behind the son's back, like, you know, making motions, like uh, telling me that his wife had passed. And she was actually trying to feed me information because I understand that she wanted her son to feel better, but she was trying to give me information that I would give to the son, telling him to move on and whatever. And I asked her several times to uh, leave the room because I have a little waiting area. And I said, why don't you and your husband go in the waiting area? And she was annoyed and finally went in, but she kept the door cracked and uh, she was listening. And every time I tried to say something, she would interject. So I stopped the reading and I said to the young man, you know, if you want to come back to me sometime alone without your parents, I'll gladly, you know, do a reading for you. But I wasn't comfortable because again, I don't want any information. And, you know, of course I want to help the person feel better. I understand that as a mother, you know, if you have, uh, you know, if your your child is suffering, your adult child or any age child, but an adult child in this case was grieving the loss of his wife, you know, I wanted to make sure that the information I brought in was was coming from his wife, not from not from the mother. So that was the only time I can think of that I stopped the reading and just told them to come back. And of course, I didn't take any money for that reading because. I didn't have an opportunity to bring anything anything through on my own. So, you know, above above all else, it you know, honesty is very important to me that I have to be honest and and trust the information that comes in that it comes from God and spirit. And I don't like to have any information about, you know, the people that come here for a reading. Um, I like I like it to be um, you know, that I don't know anything about the person. Now, saying that, of course, I've done readings on many people that I've known and I do repeat readings but um, I pray very hard and, and always am able with the help of God and Spirit to bring in information that's new you know information that maybe is going on in their lives in the present you know at the present time not just information old information that has been brought in before and that's why I tell people try to wait you know at least a year in between readings if you want to come back okay so that's the only time I can think of that I really stopped a reading, but I've never refused to do one. So I hope that answers your question. And as always, I leave you in God's love and light.